Hi, a neighbor. I saw you moving things in yesterday and I just wanted to welcome you to the neighborhood. Oh my god, you are so sweet. Let me go grab my husband so he can say hi. Wait, say that again. You're what? Oh, my husband, as in we're legally married? Legally. I beg your pardon? Oh, nothing. It's just there's kids here. Do you think it's appropriate for you to live here? I don't see why not. It's a good neighborhood and we want to start a family soon, so we want to settle down. <laughs> Disgusting. Excuse me? I just don't think I can let this one slide. I'm gonna need to make a few calls unless you plan on moving out. I'm sorry, ma'am. Not happening. We paid for our place just like you, so you can make all the calls you want. <sighs> just say you're homophobic and keep it pushing. I am not. I'm just against bad imagery. Whatever. You better get used to us. You should have thought this through before messing with me. You have exactly two seconds to get off my property before I call the police on your dumb ass, so... Ugh. <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, this? Nothing much. Just a new paint job. I was respectfully spying for my living room and couldn't help but notice your little project and had to say something. Of course you had something to say. Well, my husband told me about his little encounter with you last week and I thought you'd appreciate it. <laughs> Husbands? Guess he was also right about the homophobia. Again, I am not, but have you stopped to consider what the neighbors think about this? Actually, yes, and they don't care because it's my house. I'm sure the associate- Yep, already cleared it with them too. Well, it's an eyesore and it promotes a bad lifestyle. My rainbow house is telling your kid to be a- Shh, don't say the G word out loud. Girl, your son is running around in tutus with Barbies in hand and well, the last time I saw that it was... Me. No, he's just keeping his sister company. Okay, work. <sighs> Whatever, just change the paint or I'm calling the police. Uh, the last time the police were here, they were dragging you off my property. I'm sure they won't be of much help to you. Whatever, I'm calling corporate. Bitch, corporate where? Whoa, 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 what is going on here? How do you always conveniently show up unannounced? What can I say? I'm just around. Yeah, okay, I'm heading into the house now. Now wait a minute, what's in the blanket? My child? So you're into kidnapping now? Are you serious? No, she's mine. Can you please leave me alone? How is she yours? That's not possible. Girl, take a science class. We have a surrogate she gave birth yesterday. So you're forcing women to do your dirty work? Is that it? My husband's sister volunteered. As a mother of two children she pushed out herself, I'd say you're entirely unfit to parent. And why is that? Because it'll confuse your child, like who's the mom? Not like it's your business, but we are more than capable and have an amazing support system. Whatever, I'm calling child services. On who? Yourself? Don't think me and the neighbors can't hear you screaming at your husband every night. <gasps> this is where you turn around and go home now. Good luck raising a queer child. <laughs> the more the merrier, bitch. You guys are so loud. What is going on here? Well, if it isn't my favorite neighbor, we're barbecuing. For what exactly? We're celebrating my 10 year anniversary of coming out. That's nothing to be happy about. Wait, how come all the other neighbors are here? Because we don't like your ass. Excuse me? I mean, because you're homophobic. Who keeps spreading these lies? I'm not homophobic. I just don't think you deserve rights. Uh, babe, can you come handle this? Okay, what's going- Not you again. In the flesh. Anyway, let me go call over my husband. I'll bring the plates. First of all, you're that bitch who brings plates. And second, stay home. <gasps> I'll have you know that's discrimination. Oh no, you're finally not welcome somewhere. Oh sure, act like you know what it feels like. Ooh, sis, your privilege is showing. Forget it, I'm calling the association to file a noise complaint. They're actually bringing the chicken wings. Can you tell them to hurry up? Ah, I'm moving out of this neighborhood and it's all your fault. Please do. Ooh, you didn't have to be so harsh on her. I will never lose to a Karen. Now hurry up and finish those burgers. Don't forget the rainbow flags. Oh, you've really done it this time. And she's back. I'm guessing the move wasn't successful. Did you really think you could get rid of me? Gay can hope. So hurry up. What's your issue today? We're headed somewhere. My daughter just came out as lesbian. Congrats on spreading your agenda. Girl, if only I had the power to make people queer. So what are you gonna do to fix this? Um, absolutely nothing. First of all, she was super courageous to come out to you. And second, you should get your ass home and comfort her. No way in hell. Not until she's straight again. I'm this close to kicking her out. You're the lowest of low if you do that and you say you love your children. Correction, you're the worst thing this earth has to offer and it's because I love my children I'm doing this. I don't know what to tell you. Do you think I secretly sprinkled lesbian on her? I don't know what you're capable of. I can't with you. Just come tell her this lifestyle is wrong. Not happening. I'm perfectly happy with who I am. Fine, you can have her. Well, hurry up and get her over here. We're gonna be late for the Pride Festival. <laughs> I'm calling corporate. <laughs> Where is she? What? My daughter. Oh, after you kicked her out, we adopted her. You kidnapped her? Oh my god, open your damn ears. How could you do this to me? Huh? You thought we conspired against you to turn your daughter lesbian and then kicked her out when she refused to pray the gay away. There you go making up lies again. I said her queerness is not welcome in my house and I'd only love her if she conforms to heteronormativity. Is that not what I said? I'll report you to the police if you don't give her back. You legally removed her from your household and we have all the adoption paperwork, so who's really in the wrong? I'm gonna count down from 10. Oh no, here comes the white lady counting. 10? You know what, just ask her yourself. Oh baby, please come home. Uh, no fucking way. And there you have it. Now you're swearing a delinquent and a lesbian. My heart can't take it. Okay, well, can you not take it at your own house? I'll have you know my cousin's brother's wife is a social worker. Work. Do you want a prize? <sighs> I really need to install a security system. Ooh, we have to pass by her house, so just act nice. 
Hey neighbor. Oh, it's you. Hi. Just finishing up our walk. Have a nice day now. Now, wait a second. Are we not gonna discuss how your daughter's dressed in boys' clothing? Nope, absolutely not. How could you let that happen? Get her a princess costume or something. She picked it out herself. No questions asked. I guess you got yourself a son now. You are just so vile. She's exploring her gender. Let it be. You're not embarrassed. <laughs> Why would I be? And if she does choose to transition one day, she has the support of both me and my husband. He's just a child. How can you let it do whatever it wants? First off, she still prefers she. And second, I'm not here to dictate my child's life. Yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, it'll want to be a shark or something. Sure, and next thing you know, you'll be riding alone when your husband divorces you. Nope, he would never because we're in love. If I were you, I would go next door and ask Cindy just to be sure. So what are you trying to say? What I'm saying is Cindy has been in a much better mood lately. Get off my property. Don't have to tell me twice. Let's go. Bye. Have a good day. Mm. Of course you somehow managed to magically appear. I'm just disgusted knowing you would kiss in public knowing what you are. But we are? It was a light peck. I always do it before work. It's too sexual for me. You need to remember you have neighbors. Wasn't it you who practically drank your husband's spit at our New Year's party? Uh-uh, that's different. We're soulmates. Girl, bye. Just leave. I can't handle this energy at 7 a.m. There are children around. It's very unsafe for people like you to be around. Unsafe? We've been your neighbors for two years at this point. Sis, what children? Didn't yours leave you? Uh-uh, we're just on a break until my motto straight is great starts to resonate with them. Oh no, not the rhyming. Pack it up, Dr. Seuss. Just go home. I'm doing this neighborhood a service by protecting them from criminals. Oh, so now we're criminals? Didn't you get arrested for starting a fight at the elementary school open house? Hey, somebody said white people have no rhythm and that's racist. I don't have time for this. I'm leaving. This delusion is too much for me. I'm calling the police next time this happens. <laughs> What's wrong this time? My husband confessed to cheating on me with Cindy. Oh, you deserve it. What? Uh, nothing. How about I take you out to lunch and you can tell me all about it? Aw, I would love that. But don't bring that stupid husband of yours because you guys attract attention. <sighs> this entire menu sounds disgusting. Well, aren't you a delight? Hi there, what can I get for you? Oh, I'll have the chicken sandwich, please. Hold on, now wait a minute, young man. Your tone is very displeasing. I'm sorry, bad day. A family member passed and I couldn't find someone to cover my shift. Uh-uh-uh, I didn't ask for a sob story. Just fix the attitude. Uh, yes, ma'am. Girl, give the guy a break. He's clearly going through it. Just don't mind her. Mm, just get me the burger and make it quick before I call your manager. Sure thing, it'll be right out. I guess now we know why your husband chose Cindy over you. Why, should I have gotten the salad? Hello, are the butt buddies home? You're getting real bold, lady. Come to think of it, why haven't I gotten a restraining order against you yet? So who's the man and who's the woman? Excuse me, where did that come from? You should be thankful that I'm trying to understand your disease. My disease? Hopefully I can cure it. Was that say it louder? I think just answer the question. Considering it's a gay relationship, I'd say we're both the man. Oh, quit it. You know what I mean. No, actually, I don't, because for there to be a woman, one of us has to be a woman. Well, aren't you dense? It must be all the iced coffees getting to your head. Oh, is she becoming an ally? You know we love iced coffee. Yeah, right, but let me rephrase it. Who's the pitcher and who's the catcher? Girl, you do know this is entirely inappropriate. I don't go around asking about your bedroom life. Duh, because that's none of your business, but if you're going to gay up the whole neighborhood, we have a right to know. There's absolutely no logic in that. Just like there's no logic in your lifestyle. Yep, I've had enough of this for today. You can leave now. Whatever, my money's on you being the bottom. You couldn't even use a power drill. Hey! Hey, be careful bringing those bags in. Now, what do we have here? Okay, seriously, you can't just stay away for one day. I like to be in the know about my neighbors. You got takeout from the Japanese restaurant in town. You've got to be kidding me. What's the matter? They don't use organic ingredients? Worse, they hire immigrants. And what exactly is the problem with that? First, they steal our jobs, and second, I'd much rather have a hardworking American cook my food. As always, there's too much to unpack with that. I suggest you start spending your money elsewhere. You're hurting the economy. Again, that makes absolutely no sense, but how about this? If you don't tell me how to spend my money, I won't tell you how to spend yours. Well, I'm never eating there. Good, I'm sure they probably use black pepper, which I'm sure is too spicy for you anyway. Are you making fun of me? The shoe fits. Well, I'm gonna go call the city and county to shut them down. Sure thing, and when you're done, how about you pass me the phone because I'm sure I could get you in some trouble for having that garage sale without any business license. You wouldn't. Try me, bitch. I'm taking a page out of your book. There you go again. And what could I have possibly done today, neighbor? Local schools are now having LGBTQ plus study courses. It's amazing, but where do I come in? I know you had something to do with this. Oh sure, the gay neighbor forced the Department of Education to do this. Thank you for admitting to it. Oh, I was being sarcastic. I had nothing to do with it. Well, I don't want my kids exposed to that fake history. Again, your kids left you, but I think it's great they're doing this. You know it's absolute brainwash. I only learned about straight historical figures all my life. The propaganda, am I right? This isn't a joke. Next thing we know, the whole next generation will be queer. Maybe that's what we need to stop Karens like you from popping up out of nowhere. Excuse me? Just go and make your calls to complain. We all know that's where you're headed anyway. Maybe I will. Okay, go on now. Straight is great. Straight is great. This woman has way too much time on her hands. <sighs> you who is the limperest posse home? Oh no, I thought we finally got rid of you. Hun, that'll never happen. So what do you want today, neighbor? Oh, you know, it's Mother's Day, and I couldn't help but wonder that your terrible parents were taking this holiday away from your children. 
And how exactly did we do that? By selfishly choosing to be gay, of course. That couldn't be further from the truth. How so? Does one of you get in drag and prance around his mommy for the day? I'm surprised she even knows what drag is. I mean, this Karen act is becoming pretty camp. No, we celebrate with our surrogate. Huh? Us and the kids are very close with our surrogate's family. So we all get together and have a barbecue. She loves the kids and we get to celebrate. A win-win situation. That is simply disgusting. You forced this poor woman to be cheery around some test tube children she popped out for you. I didn't even think it was possible to be more bitter, but your recent divorce really soured you. <clears throat> Whatever, your children are going to be scarred. Well, it's what works for us and everyone seems happy. We don't expect you to understand. Yeah, yeah, catch you later, sinners. I have to run to Target. That poor staff is about to have their managers called on them. Godspeed. Hey, Ice Coffee Addict, get out here! Wonderful, back from your vacation so soon. To what do I owe this pleasure? Why did you leave those nasty comments on my Facebook? The neighborhood Facebook group does not need to see your 10 posts a day about your trip to Mexico. Excuse me? I was doing you a service bringing you along virtually. Yeah, whatever, bye. I have things to do. Uh-uh, now wait a minute. You didn't answer my question. Okay, damn, what comments? Two days ago, you commented Karen the COVID carrier, and I take offense to that. <laughs> take offense to being an ignorant tourist who refuses to get vaccinated or wear a mask? You're just jealous of my lavish lifestyle. Quite the contrary, I'm actually sorry for the people that you endangered. Oh, boo-hoo, they need my money. What they need is for you to mask up, get vaccinated, or stay home. You want the government to track me? You do realize you probably have given them more information from just having a cell phone or even doing your taxes? I don't know what you mean, how? And that's my cue to go inside. I'll just be sure to make a Facebook group without you. That's right, run away, you bitter soul. Just wait, you butt muncher. You'll miss me. Yeah, yeah.